Hey, Justin Shamness here, and thank you for taking a look at this CRM. It is a very simple CRM, and it is based on Trello.com, which is a free-to-use simple CRM system. I've been using it since 2014. I was exposed to it by somebody younger than me and more hip. And honestly, I fell in love with it because it became an answer for me. And it was a really, really, really free answer. And that was great too. So um, let me show you because I still use this to this very day. I love Trello. I've used it today already myself personally in my own life. And I, I think that you'll enjoy it as well. All right. So let's take a look. This is a template board is what it's called. And you can see that it is um, laid out in such fashion that it scrolls from left to right. Um, the very first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to click the big blue button that says create board from template. Otherwise, you're just looking at my template. You haven't created your own board yet. So when you're ready, click the blue button and create your own board from this template. Now, when you do, it'll ask you to keep all the cards and all that. And you'll say yes. And so your new board will look just like this one. So the first thing you'll want to do is come up here and start editing it to make it yours by like taking my name out of the title, for example, and, and other things. First of all, let me explain to you how this works. This board has lists on it. Okay. Each of these are lists. All right. Step one, step two, how to use a simple CRM. All of these columns are lists. And all of the things on these are called cards, okay? So cards go on lists, and the lists, when going from left to right here, they comprise the full board, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. That's the jargon for using Trello successfully. Now, in, in, in order to use the CRM aspect of this for lead management, for us real estate investors, I've created a five-step process. And that five-step process, you, you can see by clicking on the card over here and how to use this simple CRM. And this process, the five-step process looks something like this. We're going to take our motivated seller leads, and then we're going to step two, pre-qualify them. Then step three, we're going to call them, and we're going to do some fact-finding and more pre-qualifying. And we're going to get an email address, and we're going to set a time for step five, and then uh, management and is going to look at the deal and decide if we send a written offer. And if we do, they've already got a second call set up. Okay. So that's the process. So step three here, the call is really to finish pre-qualifying and then also to set an appointment, get an email address for a written offer. If we decide to send one and set an appointment for step five. So all of that happens in step three, of course, step four is when we actually send the written offer and step five is when the manager or, you know, the big cheese calls and tries to close them and get the actual contract signed with the homeowner lead. Okay. So step one, get the lead. Step two, pre-qualify the lead. A lot of this happens over messenger. Step three, we're going to use the script, the VA script and call and pre-qualify them a little bit, get a little more information and get their email address for a written offer and set up a second call with our manager. Then in step four, we're going to send a written offer if it's if the deal is worthy of it. And then step five, we are going to have that second follow-up call with management so they can close the deal with the homeowner. All right, so that's step one, two, three, four, five. There are little literal words that me and my business use here. If you have a different business model, you will want to change the flow maybe a little bit to fit you. That is perfectly acceptable. That is what this is great for. Okay, so you can see I have the whole board set up here, left to right as it, as it scrolls. Step one, new leads waiting room. This is where new leads are going to be. Anything that we've not worked yet, all right? Once we've sent an initial message or we've reached out, when they reach back to us, they immediately get moved. Uh, let's talk about this. Uh, here's an example lead card. I'm just going to use it as an example here. It says example. I'm going to move them from left to right. Okay, so when they've progressed to stage two and I'm pre-qualifying this lead, it is now in this column. Okay, when I'm going to call them and do my fact finding and my finish my pre-qualification and I'm going to um, get their email address and set up that second call, 
that's when they go into this column. Okay. When we're actually going to send out a written offer, we're going to put it here in step four. Okay. If for some reason management says we're not going to send a written offer, management may tell us to go ahead and put them in the beehive over here. This is the beehive. This is follow up. This is going to remind us to follow up in 30, 60, 90 days or whenever times we want to select. All right. And then over here to the right is a trash can if we wanted to throw that lead away. But let's go back here to step three where we were and we're going to send out a written offer. So we're going to put it there in step four. Okay. Now we're going to, you know, have that step five conversation with management on the phone, talking to the homeowner lead to close the deal when they're successful and they close the deal, then we will move it here. Okay. All right. Or, or when they're getting on the phone, so sometime during step five, we're moving it here. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, again, if we want to make, uh, if this is a follow-up, like it's, it's not a dead lead, but it's a, it's a follow-up kind of lead. We're not closing it now, but it is someone we want to stay in touch with. I'm going to remember to put it here in the B leads. Okay. Now, when I do need to throw something away, I'm going to throw the lead away here because it's a dead lead or a trash lead. It's a no good lead. I'm going to throw it in the trash can over here. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I want management to be able to go through my trash can. All right. And management will be able to go through the trash can. And you can see over here, the last list that I have, you can add more lists, of course, by clicking that button. But the last list I have is other VA tasks. And this is where management may put things like, you know, prepare a marketed, uh, market update newsletter, or, you know, we have a team meeting at one o'clock. Don't forget things like that. All right. So let's go ahead and dive into this card a little bit. This example card that I'm dragging around here from, from list to list. Let's go ahead and put it back over here under the, how to use this simple CRM list. And let's take a look at it really quick. You can see that, the art of this is not just moving the lead from left to right, but it's also updating the card as we go along. All right. Now you will not have all of this information to begin with. Of course, you may only have a phone number and an, e and an address, a property address or, or something of the like, but that's okay. Start there. Okay. You will want to add information to this card as you work the lead from left to right. All right, so you can see, as an example, I've added Joe Smith. You might not know that right away, but you will in time, and then you'll add it when you do. The address of the property there, that may be all I know to begin with. All right, here's, when you click the card, of course, it opens up a description box, and you can add the name, email address, phone number, whether you're texting, emailing, calling, what, what kind of communication you're having with him so far. The, the, the address of the property, any other details, like, for example, he was referred by Tom Thomas, the realtor. Um, this is a single family residence in, in L.A. He owes one hundred and sixty thousand. You, you, you might not know any of this. That's right. Until this lead is in step three or four. OK, um, th that's when you may be, you know, really attaching the lead prequalification sheet if your business uses one. All right. If your business doesn't use one, then maybe you could or should start. All right. Um, and, and I'm not, th this is just for, for everybody's general listening um, pleasure here. So um, if you're, if you're um, in my group, you can definitely um, hit me up for a lead prequal sheet. We'll, we'll get one for you. If you need one for your virtual assistant, I, I prefer a digital format in fact, but nevertheless, you can upload that here um, right here, hit attachment, see, and you can attach. So you can choose a file, you can paste a link from a Google drive or a Dropbox link there. Okay. You can change the name, how it shows up here, but you can see, you can attach things right here to this card. Like I have attached this picture pack. All right. You can see here is a entire folder, a Google drive of pictures. Okay. So there it is. There it is right there attached forever to this, um, this lead card. All right. You can see I have made the front picture and a, a cover for this. All right. So now you can see there's a cover photo that shows us what the picture what, of the house looks like. And you might not have that until, you know, a, for a while. All right. But th this might be in step three or, or four or five before you get there. All right. Before you have pictures and everything. <laughs> all right. So, but nevertheless, 
um, the most important aspect is that you use it to take voracious notes. Okay. You're going to copy and paste any conversations that you have with the homeowner over text or email, just copy and paste them here. Don't forget to attach any agreements or any offers that we're sending out. Okay. Attach them here. So we know what we've sent to the, to the homeowner lead. For example, this example lease purchase offer that we sent to Joe Smith. Okay. This, this is just an example, so it's blank, but it would not be blank in the case that we send it to Joe Smith. All right, so how do we do that? We, over here, we just click attachments and we attach it, all right? That's that easy. But you can see there's other things we can do. Labels, I've labeled it as a seller, okay? You can see I'm changing that label there. Uh, that's how I do that. You can create other labels. Dates, I can select a date for, for, for it to be due, okay? So... Um, you can, I've just selected a due date of tomorrow at 1238 PM. You can change any, anything that you want to change. You can set up notifications, um, all of that stuff. So this becomes important when you're working the lead. Okay. As you're moving it from left to right, you're going to want to add all of these things that you can. So you have a complete picture right here in this card of this lead. All right. So I, I think that probably covers it enough. Um, it is not a exact science, but it is a it is a work and process. The lead is okay. Now, here's another thing, real quick before before we go. The checklist. If you want to add a checklist, you see it says up here, add checklist. Okay, you can name it whatever you want to name it. All right, but here's what it looks like, and it is actually a checklist. So if you have a a flow that you want to flow through. This is how you will flow through it right here. If you want to create a checklist for yourself, for the lead, for your particular business or your virtual assistant, you can totally do this <clears throat> and it, it works very well, very well. As a reminder, for example, yes, we had the intro call. We had, a, we had you know, the seller full call. I, I've, I uploaded a pre-qualification form to this card. Um, and I also, we're emailing the seller's written offer and I'm uploading that here, scheduling a second call, uh, whatever it is. Okay. You're going to want to have a checklist here uh, to remind the virtual assistant that you're working with um, in your business, you know, exactly what the flow will be. Now I've given you some ideas here that go from acquisitions into dispositions perhaps, or, or further into closing, like, you know, reaching out and getting title work and so on and so forth. So, you know, depending on if you're just wholesaling or whatever you're doing, you may edit this a little. Okay. Now, <clears throat> um, I do offer a class, um, every now and then for my club where we, go through things like this and we kind of customize it for, for the, each individual member. So a, as a virtual assistant, just take some time, go through here, set this up for yourself. All right. Now that's an example lead card. Let me show you the last thing here. The template lead card down here at the bottom is just like that card, except it doesn't have all the stuff uploaded to it and everything done already. All right. So you can come in here and you can edit the checklist if you want. And then you can, you know, make this, this will be a lead, a template for you. So whenever you want to add a new lead, all you do is click this blue button right here, create card from template. And you're going to create the card. How to use this simple CRM is the list you're going to put it in. Let's put it in the first list there. And we want to keep the checklist and the labels too. So let's just hit it, create, boom, there it is. Okay. Okay. There's my brand new card, okay, my brand new lead card, and I'm going to come in here now, and I'm going to edit this one up, and I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it a new lead, okay, so for example, Eric Smith, address, 123 Apple Cart Way, whatever I have, um, that's, that's what I'm going to put down. I, I might not have a lot to start with. That's okay. I'm just going to put it here like this. This is my, this is my first lead. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and finish, finish it out here. Eric Smith. Uh, I don't have his email yet, but I do have a phone number. That's how we've been communicating over text so far. Um, and he has responded positively. 
one time so far. So I'm adding him to the board here and other details. I'm going to, you know, anything I find out, I'm going to continue to paste here. All right. But I'm going to paste the conversation that we had so far. Uh, Okay, let's assume he says this. He he says that uh, he's open to talking about something creative. So I'm going to make sure that I paste that conversation right there. Okay, and as things progress, I'm going. Don't forget to hit save. But don't you know? I'm going to add things. So as I as I go through the steps over here, okay, pre qualifying him, getting on the phone, finding out information maybe sending a written offer. I'm going to, I'm going to remember somewhere to, to find a picture of the front of the house. Okay. I'm going to go over here and my, on my desktop, let me see if I can find it, find it here. There's got to be a photo of a house. Nope. Not on this computer. Okay. So I'm going to have to go find a picture of the house and upload it here. Attachment. If I just have a link, I can do that too. If it's a Google Drive picture, I can do that. Or I can choose a file and upload it. Okay, so all of these things are available. I might edit my checklist. I might create a second checklist. I might select some due dates for myself, okay? Especially as I get this lead over here into the B leads, okay? I, I might select here a, a due date of next month. So it would be March 14th at this time. I'm going to hit save. Okay, you can see it's got a due date. It's going to notify me. All right, one day before as a notification to, to call or follow up with Eric Smith. So now I have a notification on a B lead. All right, so I will never forget to follow up with him. Okay, that's kind of nice. Um, if you're if you're not used to using a CRM, that's a, that's a great perk. You don't have to worry that you're going to miss a good lead. All right. So as I'm moving this lead from left to right, gaining more knowledge about it, I'm going to add things to this card. OK, now, as I get him from left to right, um, hopefully I get him all the way through step five. And that's a deal that we've got. Right. OK, so I hope this. Um, CRM is helpful for anybody that is out there looking for a nice, simple solution. What, what is also great about this Trello is the mobile app. I love it. Mwah! Love the mobile app. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. It is even cooler than the desktop version. Okay. Meaning I can just scroll, look, pull up stuff. I mean, it's nice. Okay. I can add things from anywhere. If I'm out and about and I get a photo of a property, I can upload it right there where I am using my cell phone, upload it to the card, and it's all virtual. It'll be on every device that I log in on Trello. It'll be right there uploaded for me on that. So it syncs on all your devices. It's really, really cool. And what's what's incredible about it is, is it's absolutely free. All right. So enjoy it. Play with it. Make it yours, and I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.